Fairgrounds are fantastic locations for night photography with the rides that spin around, that shoot up and down and go in all directions. They're gonna leave some beautiful light trails behind if you wanna do some long exposure photography. But you don't always have to think about capturing this motion with still photography when you could use video instead. And rather than just using normal video, I'm using the Boomerang app here, which is gonna grab a short burst and then play it forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and just keep repeating. And because of the motion of the rides, that can actually look like a ride itself. So what I've done here is found a really nicely lit ride. I love that you've got all the different colors here and I'm gonna frame it up. So the first thing I wanna do, having seen the motion of the ride, is it goes up and down like this. So I'm gonna position myself right in front of it, right in the middle. But then like most rides, it's surrounded by a fence. So I'm gonna angle the camera upwards so that I don't see the fence in the shot. And this has the added bonus of not having anybody get in the way as they walk past. So I can quite happily set this up. And now all I need to do is wait for the action to commence. Once the ride has started to go, all I need to do is just tap the button to take the picture. With Boomerang, if you just tap the button once, it takes a very short burst and repeats. If you press and hold it, it grabs a longer sequence before repeating it. And there's no right or wrong here. And there's also no way of anticipating exactly what technique is gonna work best. Like most night photography, it's a case of repeating again and again, trying different effects, different lengths, and just different periods of the ride itself. And after each one, remember to press save so that you've got a copy of it. If you don't want to review it while the ride is still going, just grab as many pictures as you can, as many videos as you can, and you can have a look at them later. So the ride has just begun moving, and at this point I would just start grabbing bursts and saving them, because you never know which ones you're going to like the look of. My gut feeling is that it's going to look best when it's getting high, but I'm just going to keep shooting and saving. Just going to wait for this to swing back towards me. That's looking pretty good. Now, if I want a longer sequence, I need to press and hold. And that's going to give me the maximum amount of time. Look at that. <laughs> it's bouncing up and down. I'll do another long one just as it goes past. There we go. You would not want to be on that ride. In this first example, when I play it back, you'll see the ride hasn't even started moving yet. But with the lights going back and forth on repeat, you can already see the kind of potential for this kind of effect. But I want that ride to move. I want to fill the rest of the frame and have something a lot more exciting. So let's have a look at this second example. And you can see the ride is definitely moving now. And it's also filling more of the height of the frame, which makes it a lot more exciting. But there's something about the motion that I just don't really like. It's very sudden, the transition as it goes back and forth. It's, it's too jerky for me. It doesn't look very, very natural. But it is still quite an attractive picture. And if that was the only one that I had, I'd be happy to post it. But by taking multiple videos after each other, you are going to get different effects. And here the ride has begun to slow down, but it's allowed me to grab this kind of bouncing effect. It looks much more natural to me as if this really is a kind of large rubber ball bouncing up and down on the bottom of your screen, which to me is a lot more satisfying than that last example. Now this wasn't something that I could have predicted. It wasn't something that was deliberate. All I did was just took picture after picture after picture. And because the ride was changing speed and was in a different position each time, I got a different effect. And it's just a case of saving each one and going through them when you're reviewing them afterwards until you find one that moves the way you like it. And this one, I like a lot. <laughs>